Well, Heidi ho everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Holy moly, do I have some awesome haul videos for you. One for today, and then I'm also going to record another one uh, right after I do this one. So I wanted to do it all in one fell swoop, but we would have been here for like an hour and a half. So I'm just going to um, divide it up. I have Salvation Army and Goodwill. Uh, this was my Senior Tuesday thrift haul from Goodwill. And, you know, I always go to Salvation Army as well on Tuesday to get it all done in the same day. Why make several trips, you know, save on gas because the gas prices are getting ridiculous. But anywho, so I think what I will do is I'm going to do Salvation Army first and then I will do the Goodwill haul. And I also have a small haul from Fuller's. So... I may be recording three videos today, and for some reason, I can't talk today. My tongue's getting in the way, and I'm just having problems pronouncing my words. It sounds like I'm drunk, but I'm not. No, maybe I should be. Maybe I could talk normal then. Alrighty. Nope, all I have here is my lemon-lime sparkling water. Boring. <laughs> All right. Let's do Salvation Army. All right. So, see, I actually, I remember now because I have two receipts here. I'm like, what the heck? I remembered. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles, guys. Okay. This is what happened. I have something in my eye. I decided to do a shop along, which you have seen already. But what happened was I filmed the beginning of the video then I went in, I did my shopping, and forgot to do the shop along. So, I had already cashed out, so I went and put the stuff in my car, and then I went back in and did my filming and bought more. <laughs> so, I have two receipts. <laughs> Holy crap. So, the first round, I spent $74.81. Then when I went back in, I spent another $27.49. Okay. <laughs> so we're over the hundred dollar mark for Salvation Army. All right. Let me find some place to put the receipts. Okay, let's start off with this. I got this really neat. Look at this. It's um it's a butterfly, guys. Can you see that? There's the wings and the body, and it's got grass on the bottom. I know it's hard to see. It says no direct sunlight on the sticker. I don't have, I don't know if this is gonna help any. Isn't that awesome? There you go. So, I got that. The problem is, I have no idea where I'm supposed to put the stuff when I'm done. So, I guess I'm going to have to put it on the floor. But before I do, let me show you the item that's on the floor. I got this beautiful, very old picture of a girl on the farm feeding the chickens. I know it's so hard to see with the darn glare, but I love this picture. There's the back. Let 
I don't see a name or anything in view. It could be, you know, it could be below the frame, but I thought that was a gorgeous picture. The frame is a little nicked up, but you could always touch that up. All right, I'm going to put this down here and move on. So I found this, and I know a lot of people like these Capodimonte-like items. This is not Capodimonte, but it is, uh, where is my magnifying glass? Uh, something China. Wait a minute. There's some sticker still on here. That's why I can't make it out. Okay, there we go. Cara, China, Staffordshire, Bone, China, England. And it is this basket, so to speak, of flowers. And everything I thought was intact. And then I noticed this leaf right here with a little boo-boo right on the edge. Dang it all, but you know what? For everything else to be intact, like all of the petals and everything, I can't even believe it. Well, this one's got a little boo-boo here, but like none of the petals are missing. Uh, and usually half of them are broken off. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get it. But it is very, very pretty. Okay, so there's that. I'm sorry I got to keep bending down to put stuff, but that's what happens when you don't have a big space to film in. <laughs> then I got this. This is so, so cute. It is a bank, and it is this adorable elephant. Would you look at this guy? How cute is he? And he has his stopper. Mm-hmm. Isn't he cute? Um, there's no markings on him, so I have no idea who made him. But I thought he was adorable. I also got, now this, I knew this had a little bit of damage, but I'm going to try maybe to fix it. This is the Wrought Iron Gift Shop in North Tonawanda, New York, which is uh, not far from me. Um, I don't know who makes this, but look how beautiful this is. You can see the damage right here on the tip of the wing. I and I may either repair it or just touch it up. But look at how pretty. Isn't that? I love bird figurines. I just think they're so beautiful. Look at the coloring on that. So I got it. I saved it from the landfill. Then I got this. Now this just has some numbers like um inscribed in the actual pottery on the bottom. But it's this really neat vase with the beautiful roses on it. Look at that. Look at the coloring on there. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty piece, I thought. Then I found another willow tree um, item here. Oh, that was, I was like, I, how come I just felt water? But that's because I washed that vase and it just dripped all over the place. <laughs> all right, this one is called Mother and Son. Isn't that awesome? And it's in excellent condition. These sell pretty well, so I grabbed it. Hi, Binksy. What's up, buddy? Hi. You want to come say hi to everyone? Guess not. Now, these I love. 
And for those of you who are black and white um, fans, these are spectacular. These are Boyd C. Patterson. Um, it is Copeland Spode. Washington and Jefferson Old Main. Look at that plate. Isn't that spectacular? And then there's this one. It's the same thing. It's exactly the same. So you get a pair. These would be gorgeous hung up on a wall. Oh, love these. Love these. These are great. Uh, then I got this beautiful spatter vase. Mid-century modern at its finest. Isn't that cool? It's got um it's got this stuff on the bottom, which I will re-glue back on, but it's not marked. That's the only reason I peeled it back, but it's not marked. And this could be uh what do you call it? Oh You know, well, maybe it'll come to me and uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, dear. Then I got this. This is another wonderful. This is by Sweet Tie. I have sold several pieces by this company. Now, this does not have a cover. I don't know if it had a cover at one time. Um, I didn't look it up, but this would make a very nice uh, open candy dish or a planter. It could be a planter. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up. Then I usually do pretty well with um, Pampered Chef. So I picked up this um, microwave egg cooker. It's in excellent condition, just no box, but, yep. Pampered Chef! So we got that. I got this for myself. I'm going to try this. Apparently, this is a microwave cleaner. So you take her hair off <laughs> and the head from the body, and then you add a half ounce of white vinegar and water to the fill lines on the body. Uh, microwave for five minutes on medium high. Allow to stand for two additional minutes. So I'm going to try it um, because my son destroys the microwave. I don't know how. I have a cover to be put on top of the food when you put it in there. Obviously, he must forget. So we're going to give this a try. I'll let you know how it works. All right. For my rooster fans, and I apologize, I do have to wash this. I got this amazing rooster cookie jar. Look at this guy. Hmm. Amazing. Uh, what's more amazing is there are no cracks or chips. There's a little teeny, well, see, I spoke too soon. There's a little teeny nick right there on his foot. And that is it. Uh, this is Sakura. Everything else looks good. Wow, that's a loud jet. Shaking my windows. So we got this guy. He's great. He's really great. I love the colors on it. All right. Watch out, PC. Coming through. <laughs> All right. 
so I saw, you know, this Priority Light box. I'm like, oh, what's in there? I, I always check out the Priority Light. And in here are these two adorable, these are candle huggers. OMG, I'm keeping these. Look. Oh my goodness, are those not awesome? Yeah, those are too stinking cute. I love them. At least for now, I think I'm keeping them. I haven't really totally decided. Uh, then I got this. This is a, a full lead crystal bottle stopper. Whoops, trying to get it out so I can show you guys. Hold on. Get in there. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? How stinking cute. I have lots of elephant fans out there, so that's why I got them. Still in the box. All right. Then I got... This vintage rolling pin, it's got the red handles. I know a lot of people like to decorate with rolling pins, so I got it. It's in fabulous condition though, really, really fabulous condition. Hi, Binksy, what's up, buddy? Hi, hiya, what are you doing over there? Hanging out? Huh, you hanging out there, bud? So then I got this for myself just because I love the flowers. They look real. It's just like a little miniature rose, um, rose bush plant. So I got that for me to put outside. Ugh. Then I got these. I thought this set was pretty cool. Whoops. <laughs> All right. So we have Santa, who is a corkscrew. How cool is that? Don't screw with me or you'll get nothing for Christmas. <laughs> Matching salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Oh dear, I need a vacation. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's that item. I thought that was really, really neat. Okay. I got this set of Fenton Hobnail Nesting Ashtrays. I have sold um, a set of these in the past. I think a couple sets actually. Um, and this one, there is actually an extra ashtray of the smallest size. Now, there, there is some flea bite damage going on here. And there is a chip right here. That's a big, that's a honking chip. Look at that chip. Look at that. Holy moly. How did I not see that when I bought it? Wow, look at that. Holy shizzle. But it is what it is. It's still a really nice set. Uh, you know, yeah, see the flea bites? This is what I was talking about. There's a little flea bite there, one there. A big flea bite over there. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's there's like little little flea bites, but that the big one is the one that has the most um, issues. The small ones are in good condition. Um, there's no flea bites, and I'm just gonna sell all four of them together instead of doing three and then a single one. You know, okie dokie. 
then I got this. This, I have never seen um, one of these this large in my life. Um, yeah, this is a uh, Hazel Atlas. Would you look at the size of this syrup dispenser? It's got to be cleaned and oiled, you know, this thing. But, I mean, it does work. Look at this. This is in phenomenal condition, guys. Look at that. Hazel Atlas is right here on the bottom. You could see the HA right there. Wow. That is a substantial syrup dispenser. You better not have diabetes, okay? Because you're in trouble. Then I got... Let me slide this over here so I can get at it. I got this picture frame for myself. I love these vintage frames. I recently bought one that looks just like this, but it's a double one that folds out. And I have a picture of Jessica. Her, she had pregnancy pictures taken. Um, so I have one of just her standing, and then the other one is of her and her husband. So I figured, let me get one, this one, and then I could put the baby's picture in it. She's doing fantastic, by the way. She is just too cute for words. I just love her to the moon and back. She's a little snuggle bug. She gets up on you, and I told Jessica, I go, she's like a little potato bug. She pulls her little legs up, and she's in a little ball, you know? Cracks me up. Um, this I got for myself to keep track of my, my live sales. Nice notebook. 49 cents, can't beat it. Take that sticker off of there. Then I had to get this, even though this is 2022, I wanted it for the pictures. Look at these retro pictures, the office where dreams go to die. <laughs> and then it's got all of these um <laughs> Let me open this because this is funny. Do I have anything to open this with? I don't. Um, happy hour. How many minutes until five o'clock? Liquid lunches. We're not getting drunk. We're team building. <laughs> 9.01 a.m. The exact moment each day when I realize I don't care. Sorry, this is just my resting meeting face. <laughs> the office where dreams go to die. Um, this one is covered up by a price tag. Meetings. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang it all. Whatever. I can't read that one. Jobs because beer and wine still cost money. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, people. You people need to calm the eh, eh, eh down. Potential. Yep, I vaguely remember having it. <laughs> Company party. A chance to meet your weird co-worker's weird spouse. Oh, these are great. Mondays. Today's forecast. Heavy fog. Cubicles, smaller than an office, bigger than a coffin. <laughs> so there's all the pictures. They are awesome. Oh my God. I love this calendar. Retro spoof. This is awesome. <laughs> Uh, I also got this for myself because I have some pictures of um, myself, Vinny, Scott, Tammy, and Dave that I wanted to put in a frame. So I got this one. It holds one, two, three, four pictures. So that's what I bought that for. Vinny had sent me some pictures from our trip from 
last year, our first meetup. So those are going to go in here. I found another one in Robin's Egg Blue. Mm-hmm. 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 Yepper. Then I got a pack of diapers to put away for my daughter. These are, uh, what size are they? Huggies Overnights. I don't know, but they're toddler size. So $4.99, heck yeah. There's quite a few in there. There's probably, I would say 30. She stocked up for a while because of all the ones that I've been buying and putting away. So that worked out well. Oh, pardon me. I swallow very loudly and I don't know why, but I do. Then I got these two. These are in magnificent condition. These two Corningware saucepans. They don't look like they were ever used. Like, look at the bottom. Look at that. They just don't have the lids. So, those are nice. I could probably sell them. I don't know. 20 bucks maybe for the pair, maybe more, I don't know. Then I got three of these. They're exactly the same, and they're all in fantastic condition. This beautiful marigold carnival glassish platters. And like I said, I got three. And they're all in fantastic condition. So these were very, very nice to find. Um, yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. That is everything from Salvation Army. So... For a little over a hundred bucks, not too bad, considering I got a pack of diapers for one thing, that beautiful cookie jar, the spode plates, the pitcher, the corningware, the Fenton, not bad, not bad at all. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'm going to get going so I can film this other video, uh, my Senior Tuesday Goodwill Thrift Haul. So you'll see me, same clothes, same hair, same day. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you in my next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.